Hi, I'm Tony. This is Esfita Pacha. We are building a cruising sailboat, this one that you see behind me. And a uh, very, very nice day today. Very, very mild. Uh, 12 degrees C at the height today. It's the warmest day we've had for, for some time. And uh, there are undeniable signs that spring is springing. Been a bit of a funny old week though. Um, some of the things that I've done, I've been as busy, I've worked as much as ever with the restriction that, that my hand, you know, is still slowing me down a bit, but I've, I've worked as much as ever and, and yet I've got very little that look any good on a video to show you. Um, I've been in the shed and we'll wander in there in a moment, uh, painting the yards. We've, uh, we've, Elizabeth and I just finished glass in the last little bit and then I've been painting those up. So I've got uh, four coats of epoxy primer sealer on there and now I'm just putting, I've got one coat of top coat, or one or two coats of top coat on there. I've just got one last coat to go. I'll give them a quick sand and then one last coat of of two-part polyurethane top coat to go on there. So that's coming on very well. And the other main thing I've been doing is, is in the boat, working in the heads area. A few bits needed finishing off in there. And it's nearly done, and I'll show you that. And I say, we'll have a look. So let's have a wander into the shed and start in there. Terry's project, still ongoing. And he's out here last night, made himself a little spray booth, look. He's doing well. He's got all new bushes in the carrier there. Uh, it's coming on well. And yeah, let's go through. Yeah, well, oh, me playing. And here are the yards, look. As they stand now, and the job now is just to give them a quick sand and a final coat of paint and we're ready to go. We've got these shaped ends for the lashings that, that lash the sail as, as an out hole on the sail to, to pull it out tight. And uh, there'll be a track on the bottom, if I just grab that and turn it over, be a track on the bottom that the bolt rope on the sail goes in. I've got those tracks just in case of screwing them on when, they're, when the paintwork's finished. And a rubbing strip that comes on the side. Well, that's the POM material that I'm going to use for the rubbing strip, or at least I'm going to try to use for the rubbing strip. Shape it up. Hopefully that will work out well on the side of there. It's the right width. I'll screw it on and put some sycophlex behind it and hopefully that's going to be good. Here we are.
hopeful. So we masked it up and now get some second flex around there and stick it in there. Up under the bimini. Yeah, needs a good clean up. Just put a bit of silicon grease on the hatch runners earlier in the week. It was getting pretty stiff, but the slides slides well now. Shoes off for down below. Just come on in. nav table uh, here's the depth sounder transducer that I started thinking about should fit that soon tiller's laid up in the front finished all looking quite nice really all in all and in here in the heads is where I've done a bit of work this week I've got these see that this doesn't look very impressive a little block of wood which is where the catch is going to go on there this catch here is going to fit on there just to keep that door shut securely shut so i made that little catch up out of apple wood um it's a design i, I had the same design in my uh, van when we were doing a bit of van life and i'm rather fond of them They're silly little things but a bit of apple wood for that spring catch there there's one up there on that door there that you can see how they work. Quite effective. Let me just get up. No, this is simple enough. It's on magnet catches to keep the door shut when you're you know, not at sea, but they swing down just to secure things when you're at sea. Well, you know we fitted the sink and that's all in. The drain connection, I've sick of flexed in. And down below, I've hooked up from the bottom of the sink obviously down to the sea cock and that's gone well enough you see I had to cut that handle there we go cut that handle shorter so it would swing with the way that pipe runs and the drain fitting on the bottom of the sink is smaller than the through hull fitting so luckily I had a couple of those reducer pieces or one reducer piece left over from when I was doing the salt water intake that's a through uh, it's a true design reducer so it's a good quality one it's gone in there 
double clipping obviously below the water line get around there show you that and it's impossible to film me doing that in there working in there there's nowhere to put the camera but there we go there it is and this door here that's just about shut there it's going to have this catch here on it just a security for at sea so that's coming on actually not a bad thing that that's such a good tight fit there that's not a bad thing at all quite like that there it is and that's the last of the cupboard doors last thing in the heads is to make up a bit of trim to cover that little bit of electrical wiring and i'll probably do one for that bit in there while i'm about it i will certainly and that is then the head's completely done but he says except i've just seen laid in the cupboard here is this is the wiring that's going to go to the solar panels and that plug that's laid next to it is going to go up on the on the on the side of the deck there with the through the deck with the wiring from the solar panels down to the controllers so that still is going but other than that the heads are completely finished And there they are, painted, finished in that respect. I've got to get the tracks out, they go underneath that I talked about, get them screwed on. I've got the bits of POM acetal to go on the side, the rubbing pieces. And I've got two stainless steel fittings to make up. They come on here at an angle that the halyards attached to, that they hang from. Uh, and then they're completely done. And I'll then fit them to the sails and bundle those up and at some stage soon I shall be putting the sail bundles inside the boat so we're ready for ready for transport they can be transported up inside the boat where so they're nice and safe so that'd be very cool get these actually on the sails won't be long I say next job really is to make up those stainless fittings and get those bits of POM on the side get in there and that's it for this week um, it's another drizzly old day today, so we're back inside sheltering. Um, but please hit that old subscribe button if you haven't done already. And uh, yeah, massive thank you to from me, from me, <laughs> to the lovely people who support us on Patreon via PayPal. Um, I should be getting on. I think the depth sounder is coming up. Obviously finishing these yards, depth sounder transducer to go in, most important. Um, and then if the weather clears up, and actually the forecast is hopeful, I might actually get some, some more epoxy primer sealer on the outside, which is the main job that I'm waiting to do. The weather's got to do, got to play with us, but get the rudder painted in, get the underside of the hull, uh, to get the coats of epoxy primer sealer on that, that it, that it needs. A bit of fairing compound around here and there before that. So I'm waiting on that for the weather to be right. And, it may be sunny, sunny forecast, I think, coming. We'll see. See you next time. Bye.